Oh my god. I just took my hair down because I've been cleaning, but like look at <laughs> It doesn't look too crazy from being pulled down out of a bun. So I thought this would be a perfect time because you'll see in a second why it makes so much sense for me to tell you guys my Audible pick of the month. You guys know that I've been partnered with Audible now forever. They have an unmatched selection of audiobooks for you guys to choose from. They have podcasts now, they have sleepcasts, they have so many really cool things. I really love the sleepcasts. Like if you have trouble sleeping, try one of them out. I feel like it really helps put you like in a zen mode. They also have Audible originals that you can't find anywhere but the Audible app. So if you guys wanna try it for yourself, you can go to audible.com Dot com slash Nicole. It's really easy to use. I also really love that if you're not really feeling the audiobook that you're listening to, you can just return it and download a brand new one and start listening all over. So the book that I'm currently listening to is The Housekeeper. <laughs> and I feel like that's why I was like, you know what? Let me stop. Let me take a break because I'm currently listening. So this is a thriller and I really like to listen to a thriller when I'm cleaning because I feel like it keeps me like, like going. I, I can't explain it, but this one is so good, y'all. Like it's a very cat and mouse thriller. It's a little bit slow to start off with, but it will definitely keep you on the edge of your seat. Um, I started listening probably like two weeks ago. I usually only listen when I am cleaning the house to this specific story. And I'm currently on chapter 35. There's 40 chapters. So yeah, if you guys are into like any kind of suspenseful thriller-esque things, I find that, like I said, when I'm cleaning, it just like keeps me motivated because I'm like really into it and like not paying attention to cleaning. Oh, what does it say? She's a stalker. She's a liar. She's in your house. <laughs> so yeah, again, guys, it's called The Housekeeper. If you want to listen for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, or you can text Nicole to 500-500 to start downloading and listening. Just a really nice way to kind of detach and kind of dive into an audiobook. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm listening, like I'm one of the main characters. Like, I don't know who I am. I don't know if I'm the cat or the mouse in this one though. I feel like I go back and forth. So I'm gonna get back to cleaning. I only have 58 minutes left of the whole book. So I feel like I'm gonna finish it today. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Tuesday. I'm gonna do these sheets today. These are the Casa Luna sheets that I showed you guys um, in my last vlog, which I just wanna take a second to, to look you guys directly in the eye, eye to eye, and just say thank you. So many of you know what I'm talking about without me actually having to say it. <clears throat> And I've gotten so many DMs and I just, again, wanna say that they don't go unnoticed. If I don't respond to you, I've seen your message and it really means a lot to me. It kind of gives you that second win, you know? Like I know that it's good to open up and speak about things and I know that when other people share their struggles that it, it can in turn help somebody else that's struggling, but I just appreciate you guys being like, you know, you share when you want to, don't feel obligated to, but a lot of you, really knew what I was talking about without me having to say it. So I just appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some laundry today, some sheets, but on a lighter subject, let's talk about this hair. Like I went to sleep last night with one of these like heatless curling rod things. Hold on, I have a weird little tripod. I'm on another camera today. I'm testing out all my cameras. You know, I'm trying to be like Goldilocks. I'm trying to find the one that's just right. So this is the camera that I was vlogging on for the vlog in the last one that you guys saw. Um, other than us like going on target runs, that was on my iPhone. But this guy is huge. He's heavy, like really, really heavy, like heavier than a vlog camera should be. The reason that I liked it is because I really liked the blurred out background. But this Sony ZV-1, which is super tiny, will give you that blurred out background. As you can see, it's not as blurry. Um, but the thing that I didn't like about this was it was like really zoomed in on your face. Remember we had like this chat a while ago, but I got like a little, I don't know what it is, like a lens attachment that will just kind of widen the shot a little bit because he's a lot more convenient. He's specifically made for people vlogging. There is a mic on the front of the camera, which makes the audio sound better, even though I have a mic attached to the camera. So anyways, uh, my hair, like this is my air dried hair. I went to sleep last night with one of these in. Have you guys seen this thing? It's basically like the TikTok of people doing their heatless curls with a robe belt. And I put this in my hair when my hair was almost dry last night because I forgot about it. So basically what you do is you just wrap your hair like this. I should have a clip holding my hair right here. 
but we're gonna try to I'm just gonna try to show you quickly if you've never seen it and then when this hair gets here you grab more hair and you keep wrapping grabbing more hair wrapping I'm just gonna grab this all so we can just see but you go to sleep with your hair wrapped in this thing you secure it with two hair ties so this is how my hair looked when I went to sleep last night. Like it wasn't that hard to sleep with, but I did end up taking it out in the middle of the night. And like I said, my hair was almost completely dry when I put it in, but I still think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try it again when I actually have damp hair. My hair was like two seconds away from being dry and I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, I'm gonna take my vitamins. I hate it on this tripod. This tripod's gotta go. Vroom! I ordered a bunch of camera accessories for this camera. I got a cool little new tripod like this, but it has like a little, a bit of an extender on it, which I think is cool. Like you can pull this up so it extends like this. I'm excited for it. I'm on a uh, liquid vitamin kick right now. Um, it says it's, it says it's raspberry, y'all. <laughs> this tastes like a liquid Flintstone vitamin, which it's not delicious. I also have the night one, which I really like the night vitamin because it's got a lot of like magnesium in it and it helps you sleep better. This guy, you have to take a full ass ounce. It smells so vitamin-y, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> it really just tastes like a liquid Flintstone vitamin. You get used to it. This is the night one. That I take it's for like relaxation repair deep sleep all that jazz there's no melatonin in it which I like because a lot of like nighttime things have melatonin and I like weaned myself off of taking it because I was taking it way too much and then I was like getting like these intense headaches from it so I just cut melatonin out like a few months ago just like cold turkey I was like I'm done with you before anybody tells me that you can get your vitamins from food I know I just you know sometimes I need a supplement because I don't get all the nutrients that I should be getting. I'm gonna wash this. So I'm gonna get this laundry going on these sheets. One hour later. Like, wah wah wee wah. Wow, I can't even see anything. There's like five feet of visibility. Weird. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, I, I don't even need these glasses, honestly. <laughs> it's so fun. The sun is long gone. It looks like we're driving into the abyss, okay? You really can't see anything. I mean, I can see the car in front of me, but that's about it. That's about it. Eat these eyeballs. Oh, I don't like the brakes. I don't like the brakes. Hopefully this is all cleared up when we come back. I feel like I'm in the movie The Mist. Did you guys ever seen that scary movie? Like when they're all stuck in the grocery store? <laughs> we don't know how to act in the fog, y'all. <laughs> so I will see you guys at the nail salon so say goodbye to these guys toodaloo they're like oh what they look rough <laughs>
yeah, we're just gonna head home. Uh, ma'am? All right, so it's about 1.30 now. I finished doing my Target edits, and you know what I just remembered? I didn't take my vitamins today. Um, but I'm gonna go to the back and film. We're filming. Look at this skin. Like, look at this. Look at this. So I just finished filming this look. It is kind of like my ah, oh. He's bit me like four times now. What's up? What's up? Are you mad? Are you mad? <laughs> Being attacked. Um, with this little fun bun combo. So I'm gonna go edit probably now. It's only three o'clock. It feels super early So I feel like I could get it done. Jeremy's golfing. It's quiet in the house. So I'm gonna go edit and Chill and then take our nightly 6 p.m. Walk like the 87 year old couple that we are <laughs> Jeremy to make that chicken pot pie cast iron skillet situation this man is sending me to the store to get biscuits all right I'm going to get biscuits that's all we need <laughs> and maybe a little treat for me for later not for me the biscuits I and mean, this man is outside about to work out I'm like I'm hungry we gotta get up early go to Miami in the morning I did get some extra things I got some Claire's and I got a Napoleon this is like my favorite dessert a Napoleon but it's the hardest dessert to eat tell me I'm wrong exactly so I'm gonna go take off my makeup and then hopefully Jeremy starts cooking. Again, we're just making this chicken pot pie, so I'm not gonna show you like the whole spiel again. It was in the last vlog, but I will show you the final project. The what? I will show you the final masterpiece, if you will. <laughs> it's actually a HelloFresh recipe that uh, we're following. A few moments later. I'm back, super quick, because I, uh, I just opened a package from Talk and Tell. This is like my favorite phone case company she's like based out of the UK I've been buying her phone cases forever now like this was my original one that I used to rock all the time and then as and then I had this guy so I ordered some new ones they're all the way from the UK so it takes a minute for them to get here to me I currently have this one on from a velvet caviar which I do really love like it speaks to my soul but the two that I ordered I think I ordered these two um, but they're really nice quality phone cases and they're not like $40, like some phone cases. All right, this time I really am gonna go. All right, this time I'm really going. Bye. I'm awake and we're heading to Miami. Just for like two hours. <laughs> So it's about 9 in the morning. We are heading down to Miami for the day because we're going to be getting some little tiny tattoos today. Um, and the guy is in Miami. I don't know why nobody around here wants to do little tiny tattoos. If you live here and you do tiny I'll tattoos. <laughs> How many people out and about right now? I don't like this shit. They got your camera right in my mirror so I can't see nothing. You're the one that told me to vlog. So yeah, we're heading down. Um, we're just gonna go down, get the tattoos, and then come right back home. Pew, pew. So it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that good. It's, it's easy when you're the passenger. <laughs> One hour later. Oh, I'm so excited! Crowder's gifts and gadgets. So we made a little pit stop to come get Thursday, some of Peachy's world Jesus famous glazed donuts. donuts. The last time we had these donuts was at the Florida State Fair over a year ago. 
because they're like an hour south of us, like they're, you can see their little uh, car right there, right? He has secured the goods, y'all. Oh my lord. Oh my god, here, How is it, Veebs? Oh my god. Oh my lord, it's hot. Yeah. Mm. Gotta go. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm like hungry, hungry. A donut one don't do it. Mm -mm. I don't even like a chocolate one from them. Like, remember at the fair we had the chocolate ones? Yes. Mm -mm. Glazed is good. Glazed. Glazed. Period. Period, poo. You got glaze all in your beard. <laughs> the napkin again. This is the last one. Three hours later. So after four hours, we made it. I mean, we're almost there. I need to change out of this sweater because. Oh, already. Uh, it's hot in Miami. It's like 85. Is that what it says? 85. 85. Hot. I'm tired. I need a coffee. <laughs> this Starbucks that we're in is insane. Honey almond cold brew? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, bitch, because you can't be really in money, right? I'm not gonna help you today. Hey, can I do a iced grande cafe mocha uh, with almond milk and no whip? Yeah, can I also do a grande cold brew with two pumps of vanilla and almond milk? Okay. And that's it. Cold brew, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else's man make them order at Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're about to pull up at the place we did drive by, but there was like a locked gate, like a gate that cars need to go through. So Smashy's meeting us here, so Jeremy said she lives 10 minutes away, she's gonna be late. <laughs> <laughs> Four oh, hours shit. and a Starbucks line. This little shit. Come on. It's kind of trash right now, because oh, all the mocha, right. yeah, all the mocha's at the bottom. It doesn't taste so good.
10.30. I just woke up because I woke up with my period this morning and I just whew, cramps. So I went back to sleep because that's usually what takes them away more than anything. But I feel better now. Um, so we got home pretty late. I know that you don't like me talking loud, so I don't know why you're all in my face. <laughs> so yeah, we got home pretty late. So we literally just had, we ordered some Cheesecake Factory. They have this like bomb Thai chicken salad that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so we ordered some food and then we like, really? That's, we're in the mood that you woke up and chose violence this morning? You just gonna knock mama's new vlog camera over? Huh. Huh. All right, I'll hold it. You can have the box. Literally came home, ate, got into bed and watched the summer house. And then I was like out. I could barely keep my eyes open. Jeremy's like on eBay and I'm like, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> so today I'm just gonna hang out at home. I'm finally gonna do these sheets. I've been trying to wash these sheets for days, y'all. I also got some new pillows from Restoration Hardware, some like big king loungers that I'm gonna put in the uh, in the bed. Those came too, so I'm just gonna start some laundry like the adult that I am. <laughs> well, first I'm gonna chill for a second because I'm like having a hot flash. So I'm gonna chill and then slowly start working my way into laundry. <laughs> One hour later. Shiny forehead is on a new level today. I'm really out here trying to do housework. And they have the nerve to play Grease. Oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. What are you doing, crazy girl? What are you doing? You want me to get you? Zoom zooms in three, two. Those other pillow remember I was like oh maybe those other pillowcases will fit it no ma'am I'm glad that I got pillowcases for it because this legit looks like a dog bed <laughs> I also got some pieces from McGee and Co but I don't really remember what it was so let's see together into the house which I really like so that guy is really cute I like the size of them too he's not too big to revamp the beauty room for the 9,000th time. Um, I'm just going to switch some things around because the desk that I'm sitting on, I'm going to use as my filming desk because I don't ever use this desk to like sit. And then I'm going to move my dresser back over here underneath this wall. And then I might switch up how this wall looks. I actually want to go to Home Depot today and get some paint swatches and paint this wall because I just hate how on camera it looks so blue. Like it's super blue. It's supposed to be gray. I think it's like I don't remember the actual name of the paint, but I'll put it here somewhere because you guys always ask. Um, but it, like I said, it just comes off very blue on camera. So I'm going to switch my desk here, this desk, and I'm going to use it as my filming desk because I have some drawers, which will be nice. And then move the dresser back over here. Actually, not back over here because it used to be on that wall. 
and then see how I like it that way because then I can like put stuff on top of the dresser I think I'm gonna move closer like move the camera closer I don't know whenever <laughs> I feel like uh, you guys know this about me, but whenever I like I'm in like a little funk or anything, I like to revamp things. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I think I'm gonna move. I don't know if I should move stuff first. Probably take everything down off the wall and then go to Home Depot at some point. Home Depot or Lowe's and get some paint swatches. It's actually just like a really stormy, rainy day today. It's been super rainy for the past couple of days, which like gives no motivation <laughs> to my soul. Anytime it's rainy or dark, I'm just like, oh, I guess I'm watching Housewives all day. So I am drinking a coffee and I'm going to clean my makeup desk first. Take everything off. I think just schlep it over to the little baby couch. So yeah, we're going to switch this up today as well. I love this is like one of my favorite ones. Like, is this, is this me? Is this, is this me? I'm going to show you what it looks like now while it's messy. So this will not live here like this anymore this will now be our filming desk which is actually a lot smaller than i uh was thinking in my head last night like this one okay don't mind the mess don't mind the mess this one is very wide like it's got like a good length to it but i feel like i could make it work so i'm gonna get this coffee in me and then get to work i guess <laughs> three hours later so it's way later in the day than when i saw you guys i got the I got basically this cleaned off. That's about it. And we went to Home Depot. I went to go get some paint samples because I'm going to take this stuff off the wall and then paint just this wall for right now, one of these tones. I'm feeling this one the most, the kind of in between this light and dark color. Um, but I'm gonna swatch all three of these on the wall and see what they look like. Maybe just take this one down and see uh, what tones we like. Who the hell put this emoji sticker here? <laughs> Probably me. But I'm tempted to put a primer here and see if it makes a difference because the wall underneath is so cool. But here, like, I feel like this is a good representation of the colors from like that way. I'm thinking this color. I really like this tone. Okay, so this is what, hello? I thought there was an echo in here. Hello? And I think I'm gonna go with this tone. It's so weird because when I was looking at them like this, when I was showing you guys these earlier, let me put this in my pocket. Um, I was saying that I liked the darker color, but when it has the white base behind it, I really like the lighter tone. Like they look like two different, like this looks like peach to me, right? But they're the same exact color and there are two uh, things of paint on each one, two layers. So I think I'm gonna have to prime the wall tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> so here's what it looks like after I painted it. Um, I actually primed it, Jeremy painted it for me because if you guys saw my story that day, I just hate painting so much. My hands just get covered in paint. Um, but I thought I had footage, I guess I don't. Maybe Jeremy has some on his phone. So I'm gonna see, which is really weird. I have missing clips um, in Final Cut, so maybe they just didn't get imported. But this is what it looks like, but don't get it twisted. We only painted the part that you could see on camera. <laughs> this bun is really living its life up there today. Good morning! It is currently Monday, my dudes. Um, so I like to clean and shit on a Monday. Don't ask me why. Sunday is not the day to clean, okay? Sunday is the day for rest. Um, so I'm just getting ready to put together a hamper. See it back there on the floor with the fish because I have so much laundry to do and I was like maybe these hampers will like help me shimmy it from one side of the house to the other uh so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today it's about 12 now I've already had my coffee for the day so I feel like that's when I got a little zoom zoom energy going so I'm gonna put together these two uh hampers and then attempt to do some laundry knowing me I'll put together these hampers and then be like you know what you deserve a break <laughs> uh but of course I have to Put it together which we love putting stuff together what was the last vlog we were putting together the uh cat tower right um okay ma'am like last time unless you're here to help you know screw some things in you gotta move the buns you gotta move the buns girl okay all right so hopefully this is easy hopefully this is easy to put together Why don't you go get orangey? Why don't you go get 
the boy. Let's see what he's doing. He's being a good boy. Thank you. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay, Malinky. baby. Can mama have the bag? Can I have this bag? Can I have it? Okay, maybe we'll put it in later. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you the finished hamper once uh, Fish decides she's over the insert. <laughs> and this is what she looks like when she has her hamper. And obviously, gotta let her get unwrinkly. But bitch, she is just, okay, we're zooming, we're doing our laundry, we are zooming around. Excuse us, laundry to do. <laughs> oh, I love it. Get out of here, laundry, do yourself. All right, it's been a few hours since I saw you guys last. I'm about to go jump in the shower because uh, I want to try this new Bondi Sands tanning something water. What is this called? Self tan foam water. So I want to try this out. I put you guys on the charger and then I forgot you. So I haven't done any laundry today. Like I told you I would. I only got the hampers together, which they're over there now. Um, and then we went and walked on the causeway for like an hour and a half. Um, but I sprayed my face earlier with this self tanning spray so it came with like a whole bunch of stuff from bondi i'm just like really into it it's just so weird because like, i was just looking at sephora yesterday because i was like mm, i haven't been really self tanning and i just feel better <laughs> with the tan so these are vegan cruelty free they're also fragrance free dye free sulfate free and then they have stuff like hyaluronic acid for hydration vitamin c for radiance and vitamin e for repair so i am pumped to try these out the only i've only used two products from bondi sands i've used the foam and then like the one hour express which i really love i feel like it gives a really good color like i said i already have like a bit of a face tan from the self tanning mist and then there's also a self tanning sleep mask which looks really good there's a gradual tanning lotion so this isn't sponsored i have worked with them before this is just pr that i opened today and i'm like pumped and I just really want to try it out so I'm gonna go take a shower and then try like I said the soft tanning foaming water I don't know if I'll show you what I'm applying because that'll be nakey um, but I will show you guys after so I'm gonna go shower and I will see y'all later oh wait 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 I want to show you one more thing but look at this cute little steamer that I got to steam the bed sheets. So I don't know about you guys, but I love a linen sheet, but I hate how wrinkly it looks. And I've tried everything. And this had so many reviews on Amazon. You can also use it to steam like your regular clothes. But I saw so many people saying that they use it for their bed sheets. So <laughs> I'm super excited for this guy also. All right. Shower, tan. Jeremy's making Caesar salads tonight. 
tanner than when you guys saw me but you haven't seen me for like a look at my hair y'all look at my hair just thriving um so i'm getting ready to make a coffee i have to film um some content for makeup forever today i was supposed to film it yesterday but my manager told me on i think monday night after i applied myself tanner so i didn't have any matching powder foundation colors so i'm waiting for them to be Post made it here. Um, my manager actually like Instacarted them here to me. You kill me, you little cat. So yeah, I'm waiting for those to get delivered. I'm gonna make a coffee. Get every day. <laughs> this cat kills me. So it's 11 now. I'm gonna make a coffee. Hopefully those powder foundations get here by 12. We can start filming and all that jazz. Beeb just got home from PetSmart. He's gonna grow orangey his own pet or what is it? Wheatgrass, right? Because they didn't have any. Yeah. I think wheatgrass and barley. Yeah, so he's just gonna grow it for the boy. Look at the boy. This is why he didn't want my camera on there. Oh, Wimpy. It's your boy. Papa's gonna grow you some grass. Chicken foot. Chicken foot. Shots kiss.